Welcome back to The Road Show. This morning in The Buzz, we are talking about a new survey that shows us how the power of scents can add thousands of dollars to the value of your home. Now, realestate.com found that buyers fork over more dough when a home carried a particular smells. The top three are citrus, mm -hmm. brownies, Yum. and homemade bread. So what are the good smells that you love in the home and any that spark nostalgia? I think anytime I'm baking, it just, mm -hmm. just walking into the room or, or having something in the crock pot, you know, oh, set it, leaving for a few hours and coming back in and just getting those nice warm yeah. smells of food. That is really good, especially um, or when there's something being barbecued, uh, just uh -huh. brings back good memories of, of being at home. My dad like using the smoker or something right. like something like that. Now, I know we've talked about this before. I went back to my grammar school. You went back to your mm -hmm. grammar school and there was something about it. You, there's a certain smell that a, schools have yep. and you walk in and you could tell even if they blindfolded you and you didn't know where you were going the second you walked in wherever it was yep. you would know where you were right exactly I, and I don't know what it, I don't know what it is I'm picturing I it in my head right I, now too. it's like I, I can smell it I don't know if it's if it's the the glue if it's the paper mm -hmm. if it's whatever it is but I, if they blindfolded you put you in a room you would know where you were Oh, and, and the exact location yeah, of it, too, because exactly. I told you I, it was the gym of the middle school I was in. So yeah. it wasn't just the school itself. It was one particular, you know, gymnasium. Right. I know for me, a smell that I do not particularly like anymore is that of, um, do you remember those little, like, jelly jars? And, you know, they, they were clear, yeah. but then the jelly was scented, and they would shrink down as they were oh, used. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know what you mean. So the scent was sweet pea, and I decided to shove my nose like this and just smell that for about three days because our dogs got sprayed by a skunk. Oh, man. And when your dog ever gets sprayed by a skunk, it is, it is so not bad. like you drive by a dead skunk uh -uh. on the road. It is so sour and terrible that the whole house reeked, and all I had in front of me was that sweet pea scented thing that I just went like this yeah. the entire time. And now anytime I smell that, I smell skunk. You smell the skunk? Yes. You know exactly what it is. So if someone had that in their house, I wouldn't enjoy it. <laughs> One of the other things, my, um, you can always tell, like I, my mother makes like certain like Syrian food and stuff like that. So anytime she makes something like that, it's one mm. of those smells that brings me back to when I was a kid. You know, yeah. it's that it's the garlic, it's the different, it's the different flavors, it's the allspice, it's all of these things come together, and I'm just like, yep. oh my God! You know, you feel like you're a kid all over again. Allspice, all those all those spice, reminds me of like French meat pies. Yeah, yeah. That's a another good, good smell thing. I love those. Well. Yeah. I love those. A lot it, of food. A lot of food is the thing. It's 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 always one of those things that it, it mm -hmm. really does. It, it sparks certain certain memories from you. Yep. Uh, certain places where you were. Even certain places like that I've worked before, mm -hmm. if I walked in, you'd know where you were. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. And oddly enough, I actually enjoy the smell of a farm. Yeah. Like horses and horse manure. Right. It sounds totally weird, but. <laughs> You're one with nature. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, Brendan. <laughs> yeah, from <laughs> horse manure horse to Brendan. Manure. <laughs> right on, I've never been more proud. Yeah, the food thing, I think, but you guys really hit the nail on the head when you go back to like your elementary school. It's like, oh yes, I remember that smell and I feel like I owe the teacher a book report right away or something like that. Well, what alluring aromas delight the senses of our loyal roadshow viewers well we asked on social media let's try this gene wiley sadler is up first saying in part nothing beats the smell of homemade baking bread what brings back the best memories are the pies mom used to make on baking day very nice josephine slop shares a memory when i was looking to buy a house i went to one where the owner had just baked a chocolate cake and it was on a fancy dish displayed nicely, very homey. I must say, it made a nice impression. I bet it did. Patricia Adelio Estrella chimes in with some of her favorite smells, homemade cookies and a fresh pot of coffee, oh yes. And lastly, and fittingly, Vin Greco provides his favorite, the only smell that matters, saying simply with one word, bacon. Yeah, pretty good, Vin. Thanks for commenting this morning, everybody. And as always, we want to hear what all of you think. We need your feedback, so please like us on Facebook and chime in there each day. You can also give us a follow on Instagram and Twitter. Those are all easily found at The Roadshow, and they are perfect ways to keep up with the latest show news and happenings.